Our next speaker is Venerable Sun Haiyan. He is Secretary Boshan of Jiangju Monastery, Shandong, China, and INEB Executive Committee member. He was ordained with Mahayana tradition under the master group headed by Senior Venerable Ching Sin, Abbot of Taiwan Kuang Te Monastery. Currently, he's studying Theravada tradition at Sadaham Sevana in Colombo, headed by Reverend Aturalie Ratnathero, with a Theravada name as Reverend Dhamma Ratnathera. Spiritual leaders respect their government leaders and the venerables, ladies and gentlemen. So today I'm going to share with you what we have done in the environment consciousness uh, increases and what we have, we have done and also what are our thoughts. In previous uh, speakers, they already mentioned that, uh, how important that we increase our environment consciousness and actions. And uh, some of them did a very great job, and especially respect Rinpoche, and did a very good job, and what I have learned a lot. And also, Dr. Maas stressed a lot that how important, how dangerous. And um, I would like to uh, uh, formulate my speech in form uh, that way. First, I steer. Uh, stress a little bit about the crisis, what still uh, existed, and what is new challenge and also opportunity. Then explain you what our thoughts, what we have done, and maybe we explore the new ideas and together with you. So the crisis, I think, is the same as before. There is always war, there's hungry, race, discrimination, rape, and everywhere. And there is, of course, the real punishment from all the human beings. This power of nature punished us. And, but I would like to mention more about the new challenges. Now, this internet, I already yesterday mentioned that the raised question. The internet changed a lot, even for the monopole manufacturing in car industry now shorten the supply chain. For instance, te te uh, Tesla, the e electric vehicle. And also in the uh, finance industry, if you put $1 or $1 million in the internet, the same interest rate. But you go to the bank, if you want dollar, so kick you out. Maybe $1 million, they give you more interest. That's a simple one of power of capital. That is over, over central, the power of capital uh, actually rule our country. Even though we tried to get so-called equal rights, human rights, but finally the capital overrode our uh, equal rights. So now the internet has flattened that, that power. And for re retail, uh, business also. So the traditional Walmart, very powerful in the in past time. Now, now in the internet, one day, one night, or the one day, the re revenue is three times of, of, of uh, uh, Walmart. And in politics, and yesterday I already mentioned that. So the traditional power, two parties in Great Britain cannot control that Finally, through internet, the individual interest and the concern collected and the voted that they get out from the uh, uh, Europe, European Union. Same, uh, Donald Trump, uh, Trump, so the Wall Street doesn't like him. And uh, the scientific harbor, Silicon Valley, also not. And the intellectuals, no. But finally, he win. So, and so as France, one year formed the, the party win the, the, the election. So also in energy sector, the traditional 
electricity power supply, very wonderful. So in China, all body, all, all people hate that the state-owned electric power supply. So now the distribute the solar energy everywhere, so becoming very popular. So I give some example that uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi and also launched a bigger uh, uh, plan in India. So uh, 2011, uh, 2012, we, at that time I was not a monk and helped him to implement the solar in Gujarat. So that also changed. And also so quantum tangent or tanger, so this um, telecommunication becomes also very, very powerful in the future. So as the virtual reality and the robot against the human being and uh, there is an example for play to go. And now in China, a lot of master or generator robot monks. So these all are something new. I don't know, I don't know whether this is good or not good. But what I would like to say, in the future, we, have, we would have more and more redundant people. Because the, the, the uh, uh, productivity increased, we have more people. They, what they are going to do? So they are influence our society, their mind, their thoughts, their view. It's very important. How can we approach them? And the, the people, uh, the gentleman from Myanmar said, meditation is very good. It's very good in Myanmar because you have a tradition. Over a thousand years, you do that. But for the modern, modern city, those people working at a very rapid pace. How to let them slow down and then introduce them to come this interest to lay down uh, to do the deeper meditation. That is a challenge for us. So what we thought, what we have tried. So we tried, of course, we have our mission and vision that is so we also wanted to have peace. We have the spiritual uh, eco uh, cleanliness. And uh, how to do that? We think in the third industry revolution, driven the chance, and then related to our people, I think we categorize so the, from the human right to all beings equal right. And uh, of course, the on cause effect is keep stay, stay same. But here we have to focus on the service. As I said, more and more redundant people come they will not do the production. How to do that? They are doing service. That is serve for others. That is serve for mind. So we say we need to have body and a mind uh, as a harmony. What do we need to do? That means in the future, this mind civilization. This mind civilization, we need to manage those mind. That is our spiritual leaders, you, and we have to think about how to do that. That's our thoughts. What we have done, we try to do that. And so and nowadays, we have a big problems, climate change. That means we need to have sustainable development. And if we are, according to Buddha, so the, uh, the Dharma, that if you are all right, all, right, the, all sentient beings have the same right, you will respect the whole nature. That is actually translate to the modern language sustainable development. We have to stress that. But how to do it? That is a, that's a, that is a, that's a challenge for us. And uh, in Chinese Buddhist tradition, we developed the Chan, Chan that means Chinese Tiana, Athena, or Chinese meditation. And uh, later on, uh, exported to Korea and Japan called the Zen. And there is a lot of important uh, way combine the Chan of the meditation with tea. Unfortunately, Chinese Chan tea meditation way disappeared in a period of time. It, it uh, developed in Korea and Japan. Now we would like to dig out and let it revive and with the proper form, let more people Attracted, be attracted, or be attracted to B 
be into the meditation. Then later on, come to Myanmar to uh, to meditation deeply. Right. That is uh, so we develop so called Chan Ti meditation and with different uh, art form, poem, music, and very uh, like dancing but not dancing. So so with full mind, mind full, uh, mindfulness action. That is what we call chanti. That is a spiritual cleanness. That's the way. We have done a lot in past time. Actually, this has been done in last, uh, since 2004. That means already 13 years. So this we have done. And we have also many uh, courses. And we select all Chinese, kind of Chinese instruments and the form of, of art. So you can see here. So in addition to that, we try to combine with modern tech technology and the solar would be a, a perfect fit. So we try to set the strategic uh, agreement, a strategic partnership with Asia PV Solar Industry Association. So we try to promote solar application in Buddhist area. We told them in the future, everyone will use solar. And those Buddhist people or religion, uh, the people who have a religion, they're normally very, very noble custom because they're honest. They will pay you if they have, right? So that, so that would be, that would be a core uh, uh, support. So solar, why we choose solar? Once, because, of, uh, because, because before I became a monk, and I was solar, uh, I was solar expert. So, but solar is perfectly fit for our Buddhist uh, uh, Dharma. Actually, one hour sun radiation to the earth to meet the, our demand, whole human beings, one year. So it depends on, according to our demand, we have enough resource. If you, you recording you deserve, then there's nothing enough. So I think the solar is a very perfect fit for that. So, so we, we, in, 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 uh, we have to demonstrate, so the, here is the couple that we set uh, 520 uh, kilowatt power plant that we, our, our monastery will use for the solar, that there's no problem. And also we put that 18 uh, kilowatt on the roof. So. So then we try to, we have, what we have done this, and we start to spread out. So we needed to do such Chan T and PV2 to outside. So that is what we tried. We went to Sri Lanka in the Grand Theater in Colombo. We did the Chan T music. And the president and the prime minister and 20 ministers and participated and uh, hundreds of ministers. Um, Parliament, parliament, parliament member also participated. They said, that's great. That is a Buddhist culture. And, um, and they, they, in their national TV, so last uh, 11 years, uh, 11 months, they repeat 11 times. So every month they repeat this, uh, this performance. Um, so we also go to Bhutan, show us with a small team to uh, demonstrate the Chan tea. And also Moha uh, Chulalongkorn University. So then solar, we also bring solar together with our Chan Chi. So this I already show you here. The so one is a solar temp, uh, lamp. There are different uh, uh, intensity level. This is more solar panel. If connected with the with this uh, uh, lamp. And, sh and shining so much sunshine, five hours, in this light intensity can last 100 hours. In this one, 20 hours. This level, eight hours, right? So if you are in remote area, so you, you are, you, your cell phone, you can, you can switch off, and then with uh, USB, charge your cell phone. So we have in past, year, past years, so we distribute and donate more than thousands of such kind of uh, uh, lamps. So this time I bring only six. The last one I give general. <laughs> so, okay. 
So and also we uh, we dump, uh, we donate arrange a donation for 10 kilowatt in Thailand in uh, uh, eco uh, agricultural tra training center and um, this one. So a lot of one is uh, ashram the IBC uh, INEP uh, center here there. So last year we also donate uh, our arrange donation in Lakapu and for the Lakaloka training center 30 kilowatt. So we would like to also arrange a training program for them to let them know how to install such a solar system. So in Sri Lanka, they are going to have um, 500 temple put solar. So this is uh, the next. So I have I committed um, in Myanmar and two, two Buddhist school, each five kilowatt, and try to arrange a donation. And also 20 such a, a lamp to uh, Cambodia, uh, uh, Ren and Venable, he's doing the protection of the forest. We support them. So that's what we are, we are going to do. I think that's uh, what we have done, we share with you, and we think the solar could really uh, one method to risk this climate change issue. Thank you very much.